Hi guys, it's Charlie from Chinook Pomsky's and it's time for us to do our one week video for our um, our newest litter of puppies. So if you guys are new to following us or haven't followed um, or watched your videos before, we are um, Chinook Pomsky's and we are an in-home breeder of Pomsky puppies. And we have these lovely puppies here. That's right. We, we have some here. with polka dots. Yeah. yeah, we'll show them the puppies in a minute. So first, you want to tell them where we went on our vacation when we went on, on a trip in May? Disneyland. We did. So when we were trying to pick names for our puppies. And that's how we got the idea of Disney puppies. That's right. That's how we got the idea for doing Disney puppies, um, because that was one of the things that's always sort of fun for the kids. You gonna come in, Frost? Here, yeah. All the way. That's the mama. That is the mama. She was hanging out in the bed, snuggling with. I would say the dad, but not the dad of the puppies, but Tegan's dad, right? Mm -hmm. um, but, yeah, so when we were picking the names of the puppies, the kids wanted to do a Disney theme. So that's what we decided to go with this time, right, Tegan? Yeah. So they're named after the Disney... Puppies. Yeah, the Disney dogs. Are you going to clean them all, Frost? Mm -hmm. Yeah, but I guess they get a good look at what Frost's coat looks like, right? Right there. Yeah. Beautiful coat. Yeah, she is what's called, we, you know, some people call it like a wolf gray or a wolf sable. She's a, yeah. She has an agouti coat, Once though. Once we go camping and I thought, well, um, Frosty was a wolf. You thought she was a wolf when we were yeah. camping? Um, when I was on the rock. Oh, uh-huh. Mm -hmm. um, but she's way smaller than a wolf, isn't she? I guess so. Yeah. So. I don't know what a wolf looks like. Yeah, because you've never... You've never seen one, huh? Yeah. Probably that time. That's right. Okay, so now I'm going to talk about the puppies for a minute. Do you want to hand me... Should we do it in order that they were born, Teeks? Sure. Okay. Do you want to hand me then, um... Tramp first? I know who is first, even though I... I'm just looking to Here's see. Here's the gray trap. Okay, I'll take him. I called him okay. that because he has a little gray crop. Yeah. So this is Tramp. He was the first one born, and he's a little boy. And uh, yeah, we thought he's cute because he wore the gray collar and Tramp's gray, so we thought that worked out good. So yeah, he's pretty cute. Yeah. So I'm not, just let him talk now for a minute. That's okay. Um, so he is. Um, he wears the gray collar. He's a little boy. He's one of the bigger ones right now. These guys don't have a huge size difference um, yet, so it's hard to say who will be bigger or who will be smaller. we we'll sort of see over the first um, couple of weeks how that changes, but he looks like he's going to be one of the, the bigger ones, although I don't know the, how huge any of these guys will be at this point. Um, you can see he's got some cute markings around his eyes, like his little eyebrows, and those will keep coming in as he gets older and um, on his cheeks. And he's got this sort of nice gray you know, dark coat. He'll sort of, you know, will change as he gets older. And my guess is he'll look a lot like his mama in terms of coat coloring is that he'll be, you know, have some dark and have some gray to him. Right, Cheeks? Yep. Do you want to hand me Pluto next? Mm -hmm. I want through and eat and put them near mom so that they can nurse. Thank you. Okay. I'm going to sit in this right off the Pluto is another one that was a little bit bigger. Yes, I know. He's one of our most wickedly and noisiest when he wants to nurse. Huh? Yes. We can have a hard time weighing him sometimes. You can see. I'll maybe show him again after. We're saying he's got some eyebrows and some cheek markings that will come in and lighten as he gets older. He's got the cute white paws and the cute white dipped tail. He's very cute. We love Pluto. Yes, mm-hmm, he's cute, and he wears a green collar, yeah, and he wears a green collar because Pluto, although Pluto wears different collars in different places, in lots of places, he, Pluto wears um, a green collar, Yeah. and that's why he's Pluto, right, Tegan? Mm-hmm, mm -hmm. Pluto or Pluto. Mm-hmm, so yeah, there, do you see? That's better. Um, that's better. Sometimes you keep hiding your face behind there. Wait, that last is short. Yeah. Oh. So you go that way. This way. Yeah, there you go. Um, 
So the first two are boys. And then the next puppy was also a boy. We had three boys born in a row. And I thought, are we going to have an all-boy litter? Do you want to get Stitch? Oh, of course. How cute little Stitch. So Stitch is from Lilo and Stitch. But now, he's not a puppy. He's an alien. That's right. And really, he's an alien. But they call him a dog. And when she adopted Stitch from... Um, like the animal place when she yeah. got him, they called him a dog. Like on his adoption papers, it says he's a dog, right, Tegan? A real dog. That's right. So, but Stitch, this Stitch yeah. is a real dog. He's not an alien. We promise. He's not an alien. Yeah. So he's very handsome. Yeah. He has markings like his he won't dad. Come out with extra arms, like Stitch yeah. does. Yeah. He's just gonna have the and forearms. Antennas. And no antennas. That's right. We should maybe put pictures of some of these for people who don't watch the Disney movies, yeah. So Stitch wears a blue collar. Stitch is blue. He's a Did blue alien. Um, but he has cute markings. He looks a lot like his dad. He has that cute white tail too. Oh, and his dad is Arrow. Yeah, their dad is Arrow, that's right. And I think he'll too have his coloring similar to mom. So these lots of these guys are gonna be grey, silver, wolf like looking puppies, oh, right? Good so work, much. Frosty. Okay. Oh you're going in here, Stitch. There you go. The next is Lady. So the next puppy that was born, we finally, with number four, we I had a girl. One, because one was in the way. There was, yeah. there was snuggling. Yeah. So now this is the true matching couple with. Yeah, this is Miss um, Lady, and she wears a pink collar. And she's very lovely. So she has, um, she's sort of like a black and silver. So again, her eye markings will get bigger, and her cheek markings will keep sort of coming in. Oh yeah, maybe we could. Maybe when she's a little older, what do you want? She was saying that she wants to put her in and do like a lady and the tramp sort of scene, like when they get lady at the beginning. I like that idea. Thanks, I just thought of it. Yeah, you should sit down on the on the actual thing. Sit down lower. There you go. Then they can see you. You see your face. Um. So she's got cute markings too. She doesn't have a tail tip, but she has a white paws, white chest. And she'll be very pretty. She'll be a nice black and silver as she gets older, and some of this silver will come in more. She's been very calm. She's one of the ones that's easiest to weigh every time. She's very content, huh? Yeah. yeah she's not like the one who this needs to be with the owners. Well, she's right really now, yeah, we'll see. She's only a couple days old, only a week. So she's also one of the bigger ones, um, again, and the difference is really minimal at this age. So, you know, and. We usually um, predict size more reliably about four weeks, um, and so then I can sort of have a better idea. Sometimes when they're born, some of them are bigger, and they don't grow really fast, um, and they sort of just sort of continue, you know, growing every day. And then others are smaller, but then they grow and catch up and end up being bigger. So the size right now has very little bearing on their adult size. So but after about four weeks, we find that they sort of evened out. The small ones have caught up. And we can sort of see where they're going to end up. So, and then we'll have a better idea. So, um, Frost and Arrow are both about the same size. Frost weighs about 30 pounds. Arrow weighs about 28 um, at my last weigh-in of them. Well, Frost weighed more at our last weigh-in because she was carrying seven puppies. But before she was pregnant, she weighed about 30 pounds. Um, that being said, when we used Arrow for one of our last litters, I thought we'd have bigger puppies because Arrow was on the bigger side, but they ended up being quite small. And Arrow's dad is really small. He's a three pound Pomeranian. So um, sometimes those genetics come into play. So we'll see. So I'm not positive on their sizing, but I don't think these guys are gonna be itty bitty. My guess is most of them will be between about um, 15 to 25 pounds is where I think most of them will be. And uh, we might get one that's bigger, we might get one that's smaller, but that's my best guess right now. But we've never done this pairing before. In fact, Frost has never had puppies before. So this is all like a first time um, Hopefully. guess for us, right, Tegan? No. Yeah. Oh, so. Corella? Yeah. Hopefully, Corella doesn't steal all of puppies. Yeah, hopefully Corella DeVille doesn't come and steal all of our puppies. That's true. So the next puppy that was born was Miss Penny. Um, but she is... She's nursing. So we'll have to wait. 
And uh, here, let's do Pongo while we're waiting because he's still awake. So Pongo, here we go. What is so this is Pongo. So he wears a black collar, which you can't always see depending on how he's laying, huh? So uh, he is very handsome. So Pongo, we have Pongo and Purdy, and they both are um, what are called piebalds. So they have these cute little spots. Um, before they had names when they were born, my kids said that they looked like cows, and so they were calling them cowboy and cowgirl. Um, no, I called her Kiki. Kiki I know. She has a big D on her. Yeah, okay, yeah. Um, but anyhow, but they... Mm -hmm, I'll just talk about Pongo first. Anyhow, but they are called piebalds. So we haven't had puppies like this before, but this is something that Frost carries in her line. And in fact, if you saw our post a couple of weeks ago now, about for our sister who had puppies. She had a puppy that looks like this too. Yeah, they're not Dalmatians. Um, Dalmatians are born all white too. Um, they don't get their spots till they're older. Um, but they're very cute. So they'll keep their markings pretty much as they are. Um, he's got some eyebrow markings that might come in more as he gets older. We'll sort of see. Um, it's harder for me to guess on him. I need to go and ask some of my breeder friends who've had piebalds before. Um, because their markings stay pretty much sort of the same as they are now as they grow. So these guys are really cute. My kids love them and I want to keep these ones because we haven't had ones like this before and they're so excited about them. But we love them, don't we? So, and he's one of the, sort of right in the middle there. And then, um, I still haven't done Penny because she's still nursing, but we can do Purdy while we're waiting. She, want to tell her? Then, then I tell them the story what we, uh, that was, uh, um, so, yeah, you can tell them the story. Frost, um, Frost had to go potty, but no, it was another pretty baby, and she has a big jam on her, s yeah, my kids like it, because yeah. it looks like, if you cover up, especially this part here, and, it looks and like a G, own. which is our last initial, which the kids like. Yeah. If she uh -huh. had a T, then it would be me. Yeah. Tegan, which is me. And how you? That's right. Yeah, so she, yeah, you can see how she's cute. And she has some sort of tan in hers, too. So I'm interested to see how her markings will change, um, of whether these cheeks will come in more. But she's really cute. She also has this cute little spot right on her bum, which we like. Yes, are you cute? Yeah, and so that's the thing. So we thought, we weren't sure if Frost was done or not. When we had the ultrasound done, they told us they, th they saw six or seven puppies let's not do that right now please um and so we weren't sure for sure and then frost who had been happily you know delivering all the puppies in the whopping box got out and was going over by the door and like she needed to go outside so we thought okay we'll see if she needs to go potty maybe she's done maybe she needs to go potty so my husband took her out we don't ever let them go anywhere alone when they're in labor until we're sure that they're done um and so she went outside and nope she decided she was going to have another puppy so my husband was right there so he brought her right in she still wasn't even all the way out of the sack and so um yeah we were t my kids were like we could name her lucky that is so cute. because there's one dalmatian around 101 that's dalmatians so cute. She's yeah she's cute she's the smallest of the puppies there's one puppy on 101 dalmatians that almost doesn't make it and so they wanted to maybe name this one Lucky like that, but that one is a boy and she's a girl. So we just named her Purdy, which is the name of the mama on 101 Dalmatians. She's the size of your hand. Yes, she's the size of my hand, yep. Yeah. Yeah, got. if you talk over me, then they can't hear me. Um, That's okay. Yeah, so she's pretty cute. And Tegan, is this one your favorite? Yes. Yeah, my girls love her. Can we keep her? <laughs> I don't know. We don't decide that yet, right? And there's any other people who want her. her. Yeah, this is what happens every time we've got puppies. They always pick their favorite and want to keep them, but we don't always get to, do we? Um, so do you want to see if Purdy's all done? I mean, if Penny's all done? Yeah. So Penny's not the last puppy born, but the last puppy we haven't seen. And she's also very cute. She looks a lot like Stitch, actually. Purdy was the... Purdy was the last one born. I mean, I Penny actually... was... Uh... I mean, mm -hmm. big. Penny was after who? Do you remember? Mom, I didn't mean that. Oh. 
Um, she was like the first out of like the Dalmatian one. Yeah. Oh, that was born? Huh? That was born? What do you mean? What do you mean, Penny was the first of the Dalmatian puppies? Like, these ones were like last. Um, well, per yeah, Purdy was last, but um, Pongo was third. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So this she is. She has a raccoon stripe. Yeah. Tegan likes, she calls her a raccoon stripe. She's got a dark stripe, like a dorsal stripe down her back. She's very cute. So this is Penny. Penny's the name of the one of one of the girl Dalmatian puppies on 101 Dalmatians. But we needed another good girl name, so we went with Penny, which is also my sister's niece's name, which is kind of fun. Um, she wears a purple collar. You can see she's very cute. She also has a face markings like her dad, those husky markings. And then she's a little bit lighter. Yeah, she's a little bit lighter than some of the other puppies, so she's quite light. So she'll be gray. My guess is she'll also look a lot like her mama. So it'll be interesting to see. Oh, are you trying to nurse on my hand? Do you guys see that? I don't know if you guys can see that. She's trying to latch onto my finger. So what happens when I hold them. Yeah, but she's really sweet. I love doing my mom's hair. Yeah. Yeah, she's also one of the ones that's calmer and quite content to be held and, and quiet. Easy to weigh, she usually just settles down. We weigh them in a little basket, it looks like this. So I just put this on the scale, we zero it and put the puppies in. And she will I'm settle right down. Me. Okay, don't do it this right now, please. Because okay. now you're making it look messy. Um, not right now. Um, so, and they will settle right in that container and be happy in there. And it's very cute. Because sometimes they'll sleep, right? Yeah. Yeah, that's almost a change. This one's getting a little dirty almost. Yeah, the puppies are very cute, aren't they, Tegan? Yeah. Who's this? Don't There's Tramp. I'll, I mean, Pluto. I'll hold him again because he's done nursing and we didn't hold him as long because he was hungry. Yeah. Hungry a bunger. Yeah, as you can see, they all are darker on their backs. And they go lighter and they're lighter on their tummies. With a lot of them, we think a lot of them also will have longer coats like Frost does. Um, so Arrow carries for that, and Frost only carries for a longer coat. So genetically speaking, 75% of the puppies should have a long coat. Um, we won't know that for a couple more weeks to see um, whose coats are going to sort of come in more longer. And uh, but we're excited to see. But in a few weeks, these are going to be some very fluffy, cute puppies running around. You can. Yeah, you can go. Mm -hmm. Oops, easy, all right? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, they're very cute. We've had a lot of fun with them so far. My kids especially like that they have Disney names. And uh, so that makes, makes it fun. Now, of course, they're all in the other corner nursing, so you can't see them. But they're there, and they're cute. Um... Uh, for people who are looking to you're gonna stick by me again, just don't step on Pluto in the corner there. Oops. Guys, we have doggy a wheat. Yeah. This so these are making notes in my book. Okay. Dumb. Either sit down, sit down, just sticky notes. A dog paws. Yeah, just don't smush them. There oh. you go. I can sit next to you. There I you just go. noticed. Yeah, I thought that was cute. Just leave it there. Dog. Okay. What? I have Stitch's collar. Oh, yeah, it's the same color Stitch. So for those of you who are looking for puppies, um, our puppies are only done off of a waiting list. Um, if you're interested in being on our waiting list, you can email us. And the email address is here. It's uh, info at chinookpomsky.com. I will. Soon. Um, is our is our email address is info at chinookpomsky.com and our email and then our website is chinookpomsky.com we've got pictures and info on the website there not of these puppies yet because they're just brand new um we do updates on our puppies every day if you check our facebook page and then we do these weekly videos here as well um we also um will happily answer any questions you guys have and yeah we're so excited about these guys um, so if you're looking for one of these puppies, if you're not already on our waiting list, the likelihood of getting one is very slim. Um, but once you're on our waiting list, then it's a lot easier 
to get a puppy and we just you can be on our waiting list as long as you like until we have you know your perfect Pomsky and until you're ready and so we yeah that's how we go through and do all of that and then that's usually chosen our families about four weeks of age and then we get them ready for their new homes right Tegan yeah 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 Hi, yes and I see it empty. Yep. Bye, guys. Um, give us a big thumbs up. And we'll see you next time. Make sure to subscribe and press the bell for notifications. That's right. Yep, that's true. Um, you can tell my daughter watches quite a bit of YouTube, hey? She does all of that all by herself with no training. Um, but that's right. You can like and subscribe. Um, you can follow, or if you're on Facebook, you can follow our page to make sure you get all of our updates on YouTube. I do videos too, but I don't know how to make them vlogs, so my mom's going to help me with that. Yeah, she wants to have her own YouTube channel. She doesn't have one yet. Um, but we, <laughs> but we do post these. We do have our YouTube channel, and you can. That's right. You can like and subscribe. You can click the bell to subscribe and get notifications. And we do post. We'll do posting these videos um, weekly as well. Um, yeah, and for, again, for those of us who are new watching, we're Chinook Pomskis. I'm Charlie, and this is... Tegan. Yes, and if you guys have any questions about these puppies, you can feel free to put them um, in the comments below here, and I'll monitor the comments on them, and I'll try to answer them, you know, as soon as I can. And that's it. We will see you guys next week. Um, right, Tegan? Yeah. Say bye. Bye. We love you. Bye.